hope everybody's having a blessed Sunday. So I'm going to go ahead and end my front room tour on this video. So this is part three of my front room tour. I believe I'm at 96 plants in my front room. I was a little bit off and then I moved some stuff around and got some new plants on my first one actually. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with this beautiful emerald, red emerald philodendron. Sitting in a pot that I got from the secondhand store. She's in her nursery pot. The wood was already staked on her when I got her. Um, I'm going to get a moss pole and have to repot her, but I'll give her some time to relax, get situated um, from the bumpy ride, and enjoy her home. So that's that. Next, underneath her is this beautiful little Hawaiian spider plant sitting on top of a base full of river rocks. So you see how I've used this $5 bench that I thrifted. And she's sitting in a little mug and it's in a four inch pot. So mugs fit four inch pots if you have a problem. It's sometimes it's hard getting four inches. Four inch pots or the big ones. And if you do, you're gonna spend some money. So I go to thrift stores and get a lot of my things. So that's that. West window, huge west window at that. Okay. So next, I'm going to go to this shelf right here. It's one, two, three, four, thrifted at the thrift store. And I'm going to go ahead and start up here at the top. This is a philodendron black cardinal. You see those beautiful leaves? It's like a really, really, really dark, dark, dark green, almost black color. Leaves. They come out as this pretty color. She kicked it off with the philodendron um, and gave me this leaf for Christmas. Basically, she started in December and then it bloomed probably like January. That leaf had unfurled when I got her. And she's just sitting in a teacup pot I got from Walmart for $5 and she's still in her nursery. All my plants pretty much are in their nursery pots. Here's a little glass fishbowl. It's really, really little if it's a fishbowl, but um, it is glass. I have some river rocks sitting in there, sitting on a little um, mirror teapot. I think it's a t not a teapot, a mirror candle, you know, that you're supposed to set candles on, but it's a mirror. It reflects light. To these plants so and it just gives a lot of character with mirrors so that's just a little tip so anyhow moving on to this big old pretty girl this is a philodendron brazil she's hanging in a little thrifted pot that costs a lot of money and i could probably put a drainage hole in it because it is made out of um ceramic so she's my first philodendron brazil that i got Sitting over here on the second shelf, this is a philodendron Salem. That's in a four inch pot. That's gonna get repotted as soon as spring comes, trust me. Um, underneath her is this little boogie guy, boogie girl, we'll say. And she sprouted this little thing in the middle, a stem. She, as soon as I put her in here with all the philodendrons, she was in my kitchen because I thought like she wasn't going to grow. I didn't know what was going on with her. Next thing I know, this was popped out. So she like, let me, she got in here with her sisters and was like, girl. So yeah, that's a little, uh, her leaves have these like, when she get big, she they're long leaves. So pretty and I'm glad I caught a baby of it. 
Because the big one, sometimes you just want to let watch them grow. So if I can get a little one, trust me, I'll have all of them little. But a lot of time, you can't get plants and four inch. You got to buy the big one. So, so and sh they're surrounded by water. Water, get the picture, humidity, that water got absorbed up in the air. So there's little humidity hacks. She's this little cowboy boot that I was thrifted like 49 cents. I got at the thrift store is sitting on another mirror. Little candle holder, Dollar Tree, 99 cents. And she's in a pretty little uh, pot that actually said $59 from, I want to say, TJ Maxx maybe or somewhere. But it was $59, the tag, the original tag. It was only, I think I spent $259 thrift store that's a vase thrift store she's in a four inch i have like a cup holding her up here's the third stroke uh third um shelf she got bought because look at that so this is my second philodendron brazil but look at that leaf right there if she ain't got different look at her leaves and look at her leaves. She got pretty leaves too, but they all got different kinds of leaves. Look at that. This one, a whole, a whole, with a splash of green on her. So that's the philodendron Brazil sitting in a little thrifted pot. Here's a philodendron emerald that kicked off uh, after. The other big philodendron went off. So they all did it at the same time. This one, she went first. And then I'm going to show you who went second in a minute. So this is a philodendron emerald. I'm sorry, imperial. Let me straighten that up. This is an emerald. You see how I learned the emperor, it starts with an I. Their leaves kind of are like, a, um, how can I? explain that kind of curly like it looked like a lettuce some type of a lettuce but you see that leaf how their leaves her some of her leaves she had like i had to take off three leaves but this wasn't here this leaf had just unfurled when i first got her if i could show without messing with them this was her first leaf that she had gave me but you see how the the um it's like crinkly kind of like the leaves and then uh she put this off like middle of december about the end of december and it's growing about to bust open so that's a philodendron green emperor um so that's what that is and then there's a little pot she's sitting in once again little glass jar from the second hand store river rocks water humidity 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 and it's just spreading all over down there there's a philodendron micans two little air plants sitting in a little decorative pot thrift store here's another little baby black cardinal that i thought was a philodendron prince orange or prince when i first got her because I didn't see the dark leaves but once she kicked off the big leaf the dark leaf I knew she was a philodendron uh, black cardinal and I had to repot her because she was in a little little tiny pot and she got a new little baby about to um, come up out of the stem too here's the second one that kicked it off so first the black cardinal then this young well this is beautiful this is the red Congo philodendron. And that's her leaf that she kicked off. So that was my Christmas gift from these guys. She kicked it off first. She kicked it off second. And her leaf's already unfurled. This one right here was next. And then this one, actually, this one has a little leaf about to come out. So is this one, and then that one, the leaf should be coming out. It's a, a little stem. So this is the philodendron, red Congo philodendron. And she's just sitting on the t 
table, little table, plant table with some air plants for decoration. Sitting in little glass pots with rocks, little Hawaiian shot glass that was thrifted. I need to be in Hawaii with, I would love living out there because the plants. So there's that. They have this lamp in a mirror, reflecting light, mirrors, water, all the reflection, everything got to be for them, decoration. So this lamp right here has 5,000 5, K lead bulbs, daylight lead bulbs, 100 watt, actually, they're 100 watt daylight lead bulbs with 5,000 K which is Kelvin's that um, for this beautiful foliage. I don't have too many flowers over here. So when you're looking for foliage, uh, I know they say the grow lights and all that stuff. They didn't made it and they got, this is going on during winter. I do have four of the little um, shop lights. And I, if you go to Home Depot, they got a four pack of daylight bulbs, but they're the fluorescent ones and they're 65 K and they only $10. So, um, but those are pretty strong. So I put it on when they really, really need some light. This is just a little help to keep them rolling. But when they need more help, I, so Home Depot, they got the four pack and it was uh, $9.99, something like that. And um, that's 65K. And the nursery that I get pretty much most of my plants from, that's all they use with the shop lights. They squeeze. You got to, Walmart has them, the shop lights, actually. If you go into the auto department or like their hardware, uh, you know, in that area, um, you'll see the little ones where you could squeeze it and it clamps onto things. Yeah, there you go. They run like eight bucks or you can just go to Home Depot or, or Lowe's. So that they got that lamp right there behind them. That's adjustable. I can make the two. You see, I just got two on so that light don't be in my face. Got this at the thrift store once again, the light. And they threw in a bowl, but it wasn't one of these bowls. But yeah, so that's that. Up there's Mama's Big Girl that I've had for quite some time. Well, I got her last summer, pretty much August. Actually, August or September, I think. And she didn't have that vine. That's a um, Golden Pothos Home Depot. I think like $4, $3.98. That pot I got at the thrift store. She, they're on a floating shelf with three, one, two, three. Next, second shelf is a heart leaf philodendron, a little one. So that's just an all green heart leaf philodendron. She's sitting in a little pot that I got from Rite Aid when I grabbed the other pots that was 75% off, end of, like go there beginning of October, in the middle of October. You're going to get pots at Rite Aid and they'll really a lot of places like that will have the 75%. Off first, it'll be 50, then they knocked it down to 75. So that's that. There's a little tea pot, decorations, second row. Bottom one is the, I call this one the philodendron because this one has, um, let's see if I could find. One of them little black things like that. And it's a whole bunch of them that my philodendrons are always dropping. I have to pick them up. It's like when you're picking up after your kids, you pick up the little, um, let's see if I can show. See that? How she got the little, um, that right there. See how they got the little brown things when they unfurl a new leaf? Let's see if I could do it right here. I know I'm not the only one who sees that. But you see the the little browns when they come up out of because they grow out of little nodes or little um, area of roots or 
whatnot. So that has that. So you see she has the little brown, let me show it again, that brown thing. And then you go up here and she got the little brown thing when she uh, unfroze a leaf. You see what I'm saying? So the little leaf one, I'm just going to stick with that's a, a philodendron. A satin philodendron. I'm just going to say it because um, the other one, yeah, it may be a pothos, but this one it's got the little leaves. Yeah, I don't got the heart leaves, but not all philodendrons got heart leaves. So they come in all kinds of, look at this, jungle boogie. So they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. So that's that second, that's the third row, another mirrors, uh, thrifted. Pots thrifted, um, except that one that came from Rite Aid. So the now I'm at another shelf that folds up, thrifted, $25. It folds up, the, the shelves actually lift up. You can lift this up and it folds. I love these kind because you can move them easily and you ain't got to put them together and do all that expensive stuff. I just can't do it. So this is a one, two, three, four. Top shelf. Neon Pothos, I repotted her. She got mama's secret little, uh, little, uh, uh, potting soil, the potting mix or whatnot, Epsom, Esoma. I use that and then I put some pumice rocks in it too. Um, so yeah, so pumice rocks and Epsoma, I like that because it's, it makes it pretty, it's a good little mixture. So that's that. Or, and that's a neon pothos. She got a little baby after I repotted her. Look at that. Like telling me, girl, thank you. I needed that. And she's in a little in her pot. That's her original pot. So she got to be in her own pot. She's just in a nursery pot that I repotted her with. But this is a ceramic pot that was thrifted for like $3, something like that. Um, there is an air plant sitting in a bowl, a little incense thing decorate around them this is another philodendron brazil and she got her own little stuff going on she got little leaves looking like this and this one look a little rough behind but look at that so these philodendron brazil all got their own little style so it ain't like it's the same exact one so that's a philodendron brazil she's in her little nursery pot but sitting in a little pot from the Salvation Army. There's a little guy sitting down relaxing next to the humidifier that in temperature we at 66 and 55 right now. So that's that. That's a little air plant with the red. The one that can't it actually has red on it. I don't think that's spray painted on her. But I don't know. I don't want to try to rub some uh, paint remover on her either so she's been red for uh, quite some time so it might, might be her color and she's been soaked plenty of time so she's sitting in a red bird cage and I actually bought this air plant in this and they had like some moss but I took her out because she's kind of big and put her in there that's a philodendron lemon lime so this is the philodendron lemon lime. Um, they have the neon heart leaf pothos that looks like this one. And then they got the lemon lime. They got a couple of plants. I think it's a moonlight. But um, this is the lemon lime philodendron. And she can actually stake up just like that, the emerald. But I got to repot her. Um, them two going to end up getting a pot that they can sit in for a while because I'm not about to keep repotting them and get a moss pole that you can actually add on if they grow past that. So she's that's how I'm going to do her because this one, she's already growing up and where she's going to cling on to. So I got to change that and put her in a, another pot, but that's going to be a spring-summer situation. 
And by then, she's been in my home because she's been living with us since last week, I believe. I did a plant haul with her, so yeah. So that's a philodendron lemon lime. There's another air plant sitting inside of a little bowl, thrifted. Here's the second shelf, philodendron micans, just growing, looking beautiful and elegant. She's sitting in a beautiful little elegant bowl that was thrifted. Behind her is a, a glass candle holder with some water in it for, once again, water, water, water. Or humidity. Um, so, yeah, it's just good to keep little waters around them and they're decorative. So, there's a pothos, a, a Cebu Blue pothos. She's a little baby and she came with, um, so that's a Cebu Blue pothos sitting in a little pot. Um, once again, all my plants besides her and her, I believe, are in uh, nursery pots. So that's that. She's sitting on the mirror, giving her more design, reflecting the lights. The mirrors make everything look a lot bigger. Um, next to her is another Monstera S-I-L. Um, I probably should have it spelled out, but I can't. Scylla Pintio, something like that. It starts with an S, and I have really do not like that. I can't pronounce it, but it's with the Monstera family. Um, it looks like a philodendron, but Monstera, I believe, have their own family. So that's what that is. She's in a cute little pot and then sitting on some feet with a glass candle holder behind her with some water in it. All right, third row is Mama's pretty little girls. Uh, so we got one, two, three, third row. These are my little beautiful... Let me put Marilyn on for them. So that's Bonnie over there. She is the, the uh, variegated curly spider plant. Variegated. They have an all green, which trust me, I'm going to find her. Because uh, I love spider plants. No matter what, they're just too much in the orange one. I like that one too, but they'll be found soon. So, so this is Bonnie. And that's the curly variegated spider plant. Two Marilyn Monroe shot glasses with water and then some water in that pretty vase because, yes, she likes and she does too. They love humidity, especially her. If you want to keep the curls and keep her natural curly hair, I have natural curly hair, so trust me, I love all, I know how to deal with her hair. And Kay, and she's in a black pot from Goodwill. Pretty much all the pots are from Goodwill. And next to her is the zebra spider plant. And look at her pretty colors. And her leaves are really soft and delicate, elegant. She's sitting in a pot, thrifted. So that's them two. Third row, the divas of all divas. That'll give you a heart attack if you a new parent and make you think that they're dead. Petonias. There's the green one. The green and white one. Next to, in the middle, that's a peperomia, golden peperomia. And there's the little pink, the fuchsia, petonia, or uh, nerve plants. That, ooh. That's why they down there being on their best behavior because, baby, when they go to the kitchen, they know. But then I have kitchen plants now, so I feel bad. But, yeah. So that's these three down there. So there's that shelf. Let me do a quick overview. So that's that shelf under that floating shelf. Okay, next we're going to move up here to this big old pretty variegated spider plant. That's my first one. She got a little baby sitting in a little metal pot. 
sitting on top of a lamp that has three and we got peperomia pixie lemon lime a j pathos and the marble peperomia it's just like a marble color it's variegated but it has more like a marble like the marble queen pathos with a little bit of gold in her so that's them and they got matching pots because they both peperomias and she got to sit looking pretty because she's the jade and i could sit her anywhere she's been moved around so much and just grows however she wants she was in a dark place now she's getting a little bit of light so yeah that's that show once again this is a lamp okay moving on to Marilyn. this is a huge heavy mirror and i just i moved here last summer and i'm not hanging her up so she got to sit with the divas of all divas because these are the only ones and if they don't make it i'm not getting any more there's some mirrors gives your apartment a um you know a little bit more makes it a little bigger gives it more attitude and all for the plants so down here I got the the um, purple red Maranta prayer plant. This is the Stramenti, and she's so bougie. And she got her leaves up. But yes, it's time to go to sleep. I'm almost done because they these ones are too much. So yeah, she's doing okay. I put some cinnamon on her leaf because one of the leaves. When I got it, it looked like it had, but her leaves, she's doing good. She's on her best behavior. So then all her new leaf. And she just unfurled that one. So she's pretty cool. I was like, girl, I keep my receipts. So next is Freddie, which he is, I guess, going to be the only boy out the whole plant crew. And he was about to get thrown away because his tips were all brown. I spent a few dollars. Sorry, I'm talking about you, sweetie, but I spent a few, ten, almost ten dollars for him, and his leaves started getting, and he's in a four-inch pot, so I'm about to throw him away, put him in the kitchen, because that's the last stop, and next thing I know, he starts unfurling all these new leaves. It's almost like they go in the kitchen, and they know they about to, it's going to be time See, this is what he did to me, but this, this, and I think this one. But then brown leaves, he did on me. I didn't buy him like that. He had beautiful foliage when I got him at the nursery, but he started doing that. Then he was about to get thrown away, and he started straightening up. So now he's being a good boy. And he's the only male, I guess, boy in the whole crew. He's in an orange pot. The Stramenti's in a black pot. All them thrifted. And she's in actually a Rite Aid pot. Here's the rattlesnake. Uh, that's a Talenthia or Talentia, Talentia, however you say it. That's a Stramenti and Maranta. I guess that one's the Maranta, but. This is the rattlesnake. She ain't giving me no problem. She's been cool. A few, like two of her leaves was a little messed up from probably just uh, them um, in, you know, and maybe traveling with them. This one right here, and I think that one right there. But other than that, this plant hasn't given me any issues. Yeah, that's one of the leaves that was messed up. But I'm not about to cut the leaf off. I just left them on there because she she gonna grow pretty pretty. This is the lemon lime prayer plant. Unfortunately, they lost one uh, last week, and I hated to let her go. She was my longest prayer plant, but she wound up being about two stems with like three leaves because the rest all just went downfall. So, yep. So take a look at this table. Those are my house plant tours. I'm hoping they make it. 
Because after this, I will not, is I won't be doing. So they the only ones. And if they make it, I might get one more, uh, maybe winter. So that's that. That's a table on a wicker basket with no top on it. And five dollars. I use it as a storage. That glass was from an old entertainment center. That did, was basically free. Didn't need it. So yeah, that's the look. In the glass, there's a humidity ten dollars. I got that for ten dollars. The little fountain, two little water bowls, little Asian pretty little bowls, water. So that's them. And that glass is when I missed or whatever. I have plenty of i can clean that glass real good so that's that now we had our last two let's say the, the best for the last now they're all this is a peace lily this uh platinum mist peace lily and she's very elegant her leaves are really thin but she ain't picky she's really cool like she don't i ain't got a flower i probably won't get a flower but I don't care. I'd rather her have these pretty leaves. So that's the Platinum Mist Peace Lily. And she's in lower light because her leaves are really delicate. So that sun will burn her. Um, I have another one, but that's the thick one. Um, so she's still getting bright in direct light. She's sitting on a glass table. Beautiful table. Got it at Ross. Her Her... Hot actually is from Ross too. She's in a nursery. So there's another mirror, a light, and then my uh, pride and joy sitting over here. Don't bother nobody. Don't ask for nothing. So she's going to get to end the video. That's Hagar, my ZZ. She got a name. Everybody else will earn a name once they can sit like this and not give me no problems. No, let me stop. But her name is Hagar and she's my ZZ. I've had her pretty much since June last year. I bought her during my Christmas time. So that's her ZZ sitting in a beautiful pot. My mom got me, it's like a bucket, but it's an antique uh, plant pot to me on this beautiful antique table. So she gets to end the tour. I hope everyone has a blessed Sunday and hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to be uh, doing a kitchen tour and an updated bedroom tour to end the winter. But it might be the beginning of summer. So there's that. I hope everyone has a blessed day. Thank you for watching my front room houseplant tour and look forward for more. Thank you. Bye.